Okay, welcome everyone to the final portion of uh, Triple Texture Animation with Blender. And uh, I've already, uh, I've rendered the files, uh, so I've already got them here. And so we have our, uh, we have our 20 images from our 20, uh, <coughs> 20 frame animation. And so we're finished there. So we're going to go back to previous, and we're going to save our original file. So now what we're going to do, we're going to bring these into Photoshop and make the final GIF animation. All right. So the way to do that is you go down to Scripts, and there's a command called Load Files in the Stack. In the stack. Uh, there's also this in Bridge, but uh, Bridge, uh, you can do it in Bridge also. I can actually show you the command in Bridge. If you really want to, uh, it's the same thing. But I found out um, when you open Blender, it's 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 extra extra on the memory. So I mean, uh, it, it takes up a little more memory to do it in Bridge. So what you do is you go into Bridge and you find your folder here, and it's going to be in that. Uh, <coughs> that uh, I think I put it in that Blender file. We'll just take a look real quick, and I'll I'll show you how this works in the uh, uh, bridge. See if I can uh, track it down. I got a lot of files here, so uh, oh, we go to libraries. Okay, we go to documents. Under Blender Images, <coughs> three textures, in, and remember it was a subfolder I made. So these are the these are the 20 frames, and what you do here, you can. Uh, <coughs> I'm not going to do it in Bridge, but you go Control A, and then you go to Tools, and you go into Photoshop, and load files, and it shows Photoshop layers. But anyway, we're not going to do it there. <coughs> this is a little. Uh, <coughs> less less intensive on your uh, memory. So you go. What we're doing? We're going to go here to um, scripts and it's load files in the stack. It's the same thing. And we're going to browse here. And we go to our library. We're in documents and Blender images. Three textures. This is our frames. And you just do Control A. Hit OK. And you give it a few minutes, and these are in there now. And so it brings them in. <coughs> and loads them all into a stack, is what it's called. And it uh, takes a few minutes to do that. <coughs> well, luckily, we only had, we've only had 20 frames. I have done animations with up to 120 frames, so it does take a few minutes. But... Uh, for this demonstration, uh, we only have uh, 20 frames, so it won't take too long. And this will be a real short video. So this is, uh, you know, Photoshop video more or less, but uh, we're uh, using in tandem with uh, Blender. Now, uh, actually, you can. Uh, it would be a whole other video. I can show you how to do animated gifs uh, using the, the uh, video timeline. And you can flip back to the frame animation. Uh, you can do some things in there, but I think it seems a little buggy when you uh, do a video timeline and you can add just single images and do uh, wipes between them. Uh, when you want to go back to the frame animation, I don't know. I had it show up one time, and now nah, it doesn't seem like they don't show up anymore. So anyway, uh, enough of that. So we're gonna. Uh, this is our layer console we're using earlier. Uh, you want to open up the uh, timeline and uh, let's say quick frame animation, make frames from layers, it loads them into the timeline here. And from here, you can uh, just look at it real quick. Alright. So, uh, usually I do them depending on what they're needed for, you can do it forever. And, uh, you can reverse the frames if you want, but I usually do these uh, 
about a third of the ones I do are forever loops. And, uh, you know, you can go in here and see they all got zero seconds uh, for the delay on them. You can uh, go down here and say select all frames and go up to this and you can set this to whatever you want. So now they're all one second. So you can make that additional uh, change in there. And now they will all take one second to do it. Uh, we're going to stop that. Go back. <coughs> Select all frames. We're going to go back to zero. Uh, another one. And so there we go. Okay, now the final part is you just go up here and say save for web. And you do this preset. You go GIF. And you can uh, review your animation one more time. That's kind of fast, but uh, put the demo. It's, it does. Like I say, you can go back and uh, change the delay on each frame. But anyway, that's it, and then uh, you simply say save, and save it on your desktop, and call this uh, couple, texture, animation, blender. We can just call it that. Save it. And uh, there it is on your desktop. Uh, there's some uh, free applications out there that just play animated GIFs, so you can review them there. You can upload it to the web, whatever you want to do with it. Anyway, that's it for this um, for this last course in uh, triple texture animation with Blender. And I showed you the steps to create the files. I showed you how to set it up in Blender and do the nodes. And uh, this is the final part where you bring all those frames into Photoshop and create the final animated uh, GIF. So I hope. If you find these uh, tutorials to be helpful, I think I've covered everything, uh, my, my technique here. And uh, so uh, just be sure to subscribe to the channel, and I'll be doing some additional Blender uh, tutorials, Photoshop tutorials. Uh, I've done, <coughs> well, I did, uh, for two years I did ZBrush <laughs> tutorials. And uh, so since I discovered Blender, yeah, it's just.